Bracket that Yahweh, bracket that Yahweh Shai, bracket that Yahweh, bracket that Yahweh Shai, bracket that Yahweh, bracket that Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, here's a, a, a clip, a short clip, um, which which you, you see before you. It says, China are now tracking children's brain activity using AI and brain reading technology. All right, this was sent to me by the brother, uh, Kahun, brother priest, you know, in the camp. And, um, <clears throat> you know, as I was watching it, you know, this just proves you know, everything that we constantly teach and constantly pushing, which is prophecy, you know, the Lord's word. You know, we say from time to time every week, man, that China is ahead of uh, America. China is ahead of these Edomites. But guess what? Esau, he's going to have to catch up. All right. Because we know that they're going to force that RFID microchip. Okay, which is the mark of the beast that the Bible speaks of, written in Revelations 13 and 16 and down. All right. You know, eventually they're going to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead. All right. But this video just proves that China, you know, is beating Esau to the punch, you know, in which Esau, his agenda is New World Order. And um, it also lets you know. That even though, you know, these are the Chinese, the Moabites, you know, the heads thereof, they're all in the lead together. You got to understand the kings of, of over there on the eastern part of the world, okay, and the kings over here in this western part of the world, which is really the elites and who ruled it, who rules it is the house of Esau, okay, which is the Edomites, and uh particular, the Rothschilds. But these other, uh, 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 can I say these are the nations, their kings, okay, their uh, uh, elite, all right, of their society are sitting at the round table with Esau to bring forth what? A new world order, okay, not just here in America, North America, but around the world. And you have China, you know, with this surveillance, you know, now the, you know, technology out there. You know, they have swallowed it up. All right. But anyway, I don't want to do too much talking. I'm just going to read it precept because none of this is going to fully. All right. Play out the way that they want the most high. OK, the heavenly father, he's sending his son back to re to to redeem and to receive. Well, to to deliver his whole for elect. All right. And he's going to interrupt you elite plans. OK, there's no. Uh, utopia, this fantasy where we living out this new age and we all transhuman and AI intelligence is a part of our lives and, you know, we all microchipped and that's not happening. Your elites are in the rude awakening. You can, you can strive, but the Lord is going to shut you down, man, because that's against, okay, the Lord's will. And, and really, the Lord already said from the beginning that Jacob, okay, the chosen seed, is going to rule in the kingdom of heaven forever. All right, so anyway, I'm going to play the video. <laughs> Teachers at this primary school in China know exactly when someone isn't paying attention. These headbands measure each student's level of concentration. The information is then directly sent to the teacher's computer and to parents. China has big plans to become a global leader in artificial intelligence. It has enabled a cashless economy where people make purchases with their faces. A giant network of surveillance cameras with facial recognition helps police monitor citizens. Meanwhile, some schools offer glimpses of what the future of high-tech education in the country might look like. Classrooms have robots that analyze students' health and engagement levels. 
Students wear uniforms with chips that track their location. There are even surveillance cameras that monitor how often students check their phones or yawn during classes. These gadgets have alarmed Chinese netizens. Pretty sure it was more to it, but the brother uh, that sent it, I'm pretty sure he probably uh, he couldn't send it through message. You know how it goes, trying to re record through message and send, you know, send a video through messenger. But um, you see it, man, and we've been telling you that China, okay, which is nothing but the Moabites and Esau that rules this world, according to Job nine and nine and twenty four, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. But you see that this right here should just give you the uh i the let me say um it should enlighten you of to what their plans are man okay you know you should see for what their end goal is you if you can't see then the lord not dealing with you all right this is the end goal all right to have society just the way china is uh uh, uh, uh basically merging their society into technology and this is another reason why you know, I see why the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is going to give brother spiritual powers. Because Esau has technology, he has witchcraft. All right? These Moabites, these other nations, they have technology, they have witchcraft. You better believe it that these Edomites and these other nations, all right, they have AI robots, you know, um, that, that works for them. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see... Um, you know, some type of machine, AI intelligence, looking like a, a real man, you know, doing, you know, running, shooting, you know, just like uh, a real soldier would, you know, but way more advanced. All right. This is what uh, we up against. This is why we truly uh, have to have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord said there's nothing impossible. All right. And the Most High is going to increase our faith. He's going to renew our strength. All right. So. With that being said, I just want to read this scripture here. This is Job chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 8. Let me see. Yeah, it says, I will seek unto Yahweh, and unto Yahweh would I commit my cause. All right, because our power, okay, our God is the God that governs this universe and governs this world. Okay, he rules in the kingdom of men. All right. He set of kingdoms, he destroy of kingdoms. So it says, I will seek unto Yahweh and unto Yahweh would I commit my cause, which doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. All right. Because our Lord is out of this world. Our Lord. OK. Our power is dramatic. OK. He do the unthinkable. All right. Who get this? You know, look who he has chosen, you know, the ones who you least expect. All right. And that's the men, you know, the whole four elect. OK. And I'm going to say starting with the, uh, you know, the apostles and elders, a great millstone, because, you know, we have the 100 percent truth. OK. We're the only ones out there standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. And also you got different camps. OK. But then you got a lot of false doctrine within these different camps. So. You still have the elect scattered throughout the four corners, but they're going to be what? Teaching the truth. All right. And the Lord have chosen these men who the world despise, who the world hates. All right. He don't need to go grab a Michael Jordan or Jay-Z, a little Wayne, you know, to make his word known. No, he chosen these men and these men, which uh, are really considered great men. OK, that he had furnished from the very beginning. OK, that these men in, in the appearance of their weakness, they show forth great strength. And that's through the word and spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. If you, you know, think you got faith. All right. If you want to see faith, the brothers, the prophets, the elders, the teachers that's teaching his word instant in season, out of season. That's great faith, man. All right. Anyway. It says, um, 
I will seek unto Yahweh, and unto Yahweh would I commit my cause, which do of great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number, who give rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields. Because it ain't Esau who waters the earth constantly, who allows the sun to come up every morning. It's not Esau that, you know, give us light by night, by the moon. You know, he may give us, you know, Esau has, you know, advanced his technology through the, through the Lord, okay? Because the Lord gave him that mind to invent certain things, okay? Which really there's nothing new because they were re it was invented back in the day. But today we're in a modern day. Esau got street lights. He can give us those lights, but can, can Esau create stars? Can he place them in the heavens and the space and, and control them? Can he control um, uh, uh, <clears throat> the fishes in the sea? All right. Can he uh, control earthquakes? He may can cause them because he has the mindset, you know, and the technology to know, okay, how to create rain from the clouds. You know, how to uh, basically manipulate the elements. But he's not the one, okay, who have given us our existence, man. He didn't put breath inside of our bodies. He didn't put the heart in the middle of our chest. Well, the left side of our chest, okay? He did not create us. He was created by the Heavenly Father. And that means that the Heavenly Father still exists and still here, man, okay? Never left. So it says, who set, of, who set on high those that be low? And those which mourn may be exhorted to safety. That's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because who is truly on the low? The Israelites, man. In particular, the elect. All right? But all Israel is on the low. Look at us, man. All right? Getting killed by these uh, cops every day. You know? In the ghettos, the hoods. You know? But here it is. You know, you're the, the uh, top entertainers. All right? The most gifted and talented people on the earth. Hey, your skin alone is rich. To have melanin in your skin and to be uh, brown, dark, you know, that's that's richness, man. Okay, it says, who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields? To set on high those that be low and those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Because who is mourning? Who's crying out for all the abominations? All right, who's praying unto the Lord to ask uh, uh, praying and asking the Lord to make haste to come save us, man, to come deliver us, get us out of this hell. The, the, the prophets, the elect, okay? It says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So you Moabites, you Edomites, all right? You're not, <laughs> you're not gonna have this uh, utopia and this uh, new world order you know, flourishing and we living here another 100, 200, 300 years. It's not going down that way. We're living in Bible prophecy. And right now the Lord is calling out through his prophets to bring his sons back unto him. Okay. Starting with his sons, because there is women and children that will be delivered as well. But it starts with the prince. Okay. The prince of the Lord, the prince of the most high. He's calling upon his sons to come back. Just as well as he put us away and he allowed you to be over us and to kick our ass and to be that whooping stick unto us. At the same time, at the very end of your, your rule, the Lord is calling us back. All right. It says he disappointed the devices of the crafty. So <laughs> your plans is going to be interrupted. All right. Your kingdom is going to be brought low. Made a, 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 a desolation, you know. It's going to be purified by the ways of fire. Meaning when you go out, you're going out in a dramatic fashion. All right. When the world is about to, the world is about to recognize the power in which governs the world. Not the powers in which that live on earth today that rule the world in wickedness. But the power that's above and beyond. The power that the world have not witnessed in so long. All right. The Lord is coming back, man. Yahweh Shah is on his way. All right. It says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Uh, let me look up something real quick. 
It says, verse 13, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. So the Lord is going to take you devils and you heathens, you, you Moabites out in the fashion in which you imagine. OK, the same setup because these elites are setting up a, a third world war. That's their plan. All right. That is their plan to set up this new world order so that they can depopulate the earth. OK, I believe it's what uh, under, to 500 million, whatever the case is, it's the Georgia Guidestones that actually put that out. I forgot. So like I could just look it up. But their plans is to depopulate the earth. All right. And, and refresh uh, this earth in their new government. All right. Which is everyone being transhuman, digital money. You know, all the currency will end up being digital. You see how far we gone from holding gold and silver in our hands, all right? Gold and silver was was a norm, okay? Gold coins and silver coins, which you can still collect, but not on a scale in which we had in the in you know from the very beginning. We went to Federal Reserve note, paper dollars, okay? And now we're leaving that. Well, their plans is to leave this off from the paper and get into the computer. AI intelligence, all right, digital currency, all right, radio frequency, meaning people uh, having chips inside of their bodies to where they can be GPS and tracked, all right, because Esau has advanced his technology, all right, and really that ain't all, that, that's all but witchcraft, man, but it says, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet in darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday at night, but he saveth the poor from the sword and their mouth from the hand of the mighty. All right, and that's I'm gonna leave it there because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is truly going to deliver his elect and bring into captivities you other nations, starting with you Edomites. All right, you know, so if you talking about the chip is not the mark of the beast, then you're a fool, man. You're a fool. You're not a prophet, you're a false prophet, and you don't know the times in which you're living in, you know, or you just been paid off. Straight up, man. This technology, AI intelligence, the biometric, facial recognition, RFID chips all play one role so that the elites can sit in the seat of the most high and they can govern over us as a god. Because right now they're not God. All right. They can, you know, call some shots. They can, you know, uh, 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 have, uh, uh, they can have whatever their hearts desire, but they are not the power in which governs the world. All right. They want to be able to control your emotions. They want to control whether you exist. You know, if you take a chip inside your, uh, your body, you know, they can fry your chip with inside your skin. And what happens? The chemical that leaks out of that chip is cyanide. You instantly die. OK, this chip, the RFID microchip is game changer. It's changing the world and it's already done changed the world in China, uh, Sweden, uh, East India. So for you to be here in Babylon, which is North America, and to say that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, you're a fool, man. You're a fool. It's just that Babylon is late. Babylon is running on borrowed time, man. He's late. And that's why the scriptures say in Revelations 12 and 12, which uh, I ended with that. You know, we all know these scriptures. But for those, for those out there that don't know, all right, you're supposed to seek the Lord 10 times more because it was our minds to go astray from who we was. The Most High took that from us from our, because of our wickedness. So this is Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, and that devil represents a man, all right, a deceiver, Esau, Edom. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath 
because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right, so the clock is ticking. All right, and uh, we almost in that Third World War as well. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it with that. I hope you guys were edified. You know, check this out. China are now tracking children's brain activity using AI and brain reading technology. Check that out. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rechach Chodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.